but Kenya learns a lesson. The lesson that I've learned this week um, is that I am a unintentional procrastinator and I get overwhelmed easily. Now I'm usually the strong person, you know, the rock, the brick, the strong wall that people can lean on and stuff. But sometimes, sometimes I be need somebody to lean on. Sometimes I be need somebody to be strong for me. And during this time of me back in school, oh, I definitely need somebody. Ooh, somebody, somebody to lean on. Cause um, I only been in one. I'm backstory. I am back in school. I attend Liberty University. Um, I am getting my master's in human services counseling with a concentration in life coaching. And later on, I'm going to get my certification as a life coach. Woo and we'll see what God decides to do after that. All great, all wonderful things. Now, let's talk about the pros. I already know, one, I'm getting more education, um, better skills at what I desire to do, how, you know, to help people. Great. I'm getting more knowledge, more wisdom. Great. Here's a con. I am already sick of school and I'm only I've only taken one class. School just started January 18th. I'm already sick of it. I'm already done. I'm already done. But what I have learned about myself is that I am an unintentional procrastinator. And it's simply because I get overwhelmed. What happened is is that I looked at the syllabus and I read the syllabus, and I saw this and that and this and that and this and that. And my brain went haywire. I don't know if you're familiar with that little scene in SpongeBob SquarePants where he forgot the recipe and all the little SpongeBob SquarePants was running around, searching, going haywire. That that was my brain. And I got overwhelmed. And then I, I don't think that overwhelming feeling ever went away. And then now, today, I'm like, oh, my God. I got a paper due. Oh, I still got this to do. Oh, I still got this to do. And then I, this is just one class. Then the next term, I'm supposed to do two classes at the same time. And what was I thinking? I should have not done. I was all over the place. And because of that, I put myself behind on educational goals for the week that I had set out. On top of some other stuff that kind of threw me off. Not blaming nobody. It's just some life things that just threw me off. Just threw me off. Threw me for a loop. So I couldn't. And I, I, and I just haven't quite, you know, gotten my bearings. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't gotten myself together yet. But what I have learned is that sometimes it's okay to say that you don't have it and that you're not okay. And then sometimes it's okay to just stop and walk away from it. I can sit on something and constantly do something for five hours, six hours, seven hours straight. I can stay up all night long working on something. It does not mean it's going to get done any faster. It's just wearing me out. So I don't know who else out there in grad school or undergrad or high school or business endeavor or whatever it is. When you, first off, when you become overwhelmed... It's okay. Take a deep breath. Step back and break the thing down into pieces. I didn't do that. I just looked at the whole thing. I just, I was like the fat boy and Matilda looking at a chocolate cake. I just looked at the whole chocolate cake. I was like, oh my God. You want me to eat this whole thing? But then that fat boy took the chocolate cake and broke it down into pieces. And he ate it. The whole thing. He made it through. Despite what Miss Trunchbull thought he was going to do. He made it all the way through. Break it down. Set out some little mini go Like, okay, I'm going to do this, this, this. And then I'm going to do this. And then this. And then don't forget for you. Don't forget about you. Okay? Take it. It may not be a whole day to yourself. It may just be an hour or so to yourself. Take a nap. Watch. I call it dumb time. Watch some dumb show. That makes your brain not think. And then go back to your work. And then that way you have fresh eyes and everything. And then see how. And then go from there. That's what I learned. That's what I'm learning. Um, 
And now that I've learned that, I'm going to implement implement that those techniques into this next week. So, you know, I have a paper due. And now I'm just going to give myself little miniature goals throughout the week. And before I know it, paper is done. Period. And it's one less stress off my plate. So, I hope that helps. Don't give up. Keep going. Push through. We got this. We going to make it. Tears and all, we going to make it. Okay, grad school is a fool. That's probably what I should call it. No, nah, we're not going to call it that because I'm probably not going to talk. just talk about grad school. So, Lakinia learns a lesson. Uh, find out next week what Lakinia learns. Who knows? So excited. So excited. Okay, y'all, I'm getting goofy. I got stuff to do. I, I got to make another video for the whole... Life, people. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.